Awake and Yoga. Today I have a really special sequence for you um, that is completely hands-free. We're going to be using our lower body, focusing mostly on the lower body and the core. All you need for this sequence is your mat, a quiet space to do it, and your body. So go grab those things and come on back and we'll get started. Right, well we'll begin at the top of our mat. Let your feet just kind of hang down. So maybe even give them a shake. Shake everything out a little bit and let your feet come to rest under your hips naturally. Lift your toes, all ten toes, and spread them. And then gently place them back down on the mat. Soften your knees a little bit and then draw in and up your thighs. Draw your low belly in and up, grow a little bit longer through your spine, but let your shoulders relax. Bring your hands together in front of your heart. Gently pressing them together, elbows lifted. Close your eyes. Take a moment here to connect with your body. To drop your day. To drop your story. To drop your to-do list, your worries and your concerns. And give yourself permission to come here into this practice. you stand here finding your center, connecting to your body, begin to deepen your breath. Inhaling into your belly and then exhaling to squeeze all of that air back out through your nose. While you're breathing, give yourself permission today, allow yourself today to move in a way that feels good to your body, uh, to move in a way that challenges you without causing pain. And always remember that you are the final word, you get the final say as to what you do and what you don't do. I'm here as a general guide to help lead you through a sequence. At the end of the day, you get to decide what's right for your body. Good. Release your arms up through the center of your body, reaching overhead. Keep your shoulders soft and relaxed, but energize your fingertips to the sky. Take a nice deep breath in, grow a little taller. As you exhale, bend your knees a lot, folding forward all the way down. Bring your fingertips to your shins, draw your low belly in and up, straighten your arms, lengthen your spine. Tuck your chin slightly so the crown of your head reaches forward. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, soften your knees a lot, bend your knees, fold forward, let your upper body hang heavy. Inhale here. As you exhale, roll yourself all the way back up to stand, drawing through your front low belly, arms through the center, reach back overhead, inhale, and exhale, fold forward again, softening your knees. Fingertips to shins, arms straighten, lengthen your spine, inhale, flat back, fold forward. Soften your knees, press down, deep breath in, exhale, roll yourself all the way up, drawing through the front low belly to protect your spine, reach your arms overhead, inhale, one more time, fold forward, exhale, soften your knees. Fingertips to shins, lengthen your spine, draw everything in and up, fold forward. Let's pause here in this fold, forward fold and take a rag doll opposite hand into opposite elbow. And you can stay still or sway side to side, but let your upper body get heavy. Let your neck get heavy. Let your head get heavy. Release your hands, soften your knees, inhale, 
and exhale to roll all the way up to stand. This time let your arms rest by your side and step your feet wide on your mat. We'll take our feet wide so that they point, our toes point out in the same direction as our knees. And so that when we bend our knees nice and low into temple, our knees stack just over our ankles, maybe a little bit behind, but not over, not past the ankles. From here, press your hips nice and low, but keep your spine long and lifted and bring your arms out to the side, coming to temple pose. Hands are energized, arms are energized, but light. We're not creating any tension up here. And if you start to feel any tension in your neck and shoulders, just shake it out and let it go. And then we'll come back. Press your feet into the mat and straighten your legs. Reach up, take a full breath in, and exhale back down. Inhale to lift and straighten. Exhale down. Let's do three more just like that. Inhaling up and exhale down. Two more. Last one here. Inhale to reach up. As you exhale, come back down. This time we'll stand up straight again, inhale. You can stay with the temple flow we were just doing, or you can try Fallen Goddess. So we'll all inhale here. As we exhale, bend your knees a lot, sink your hips and hinge forward, sweeping your arms down. And then all the way back up as you inhale and exhale down. Few more here with your breath, starting to heat up a little creating some warmth in your joints, in your muscles, connecting your movements to breath. Let's do one more here. Beautiful, come all the way back up. Bring your hands onto your thighs, bend your knees and start to move from side to side. These are ninja lunges. They can be really up high like this, depending on your, the tension in your legs, or you can come down nice and low. Good. I like to do some work and then release it with those ninja lunges. So at any time, if something doesn't feel like you've worked really hard and I need a bit of a break before we're done, go ahead and take a couple ninja lunges. Good, we'll come back into temple, hands to your hips this time, and then straighten your legs. And let's step our feet back up to the top of our mat. We'll keep our feet slightly apart again. You can find that natural positioning of your feet by shaking out your legs. <clears throat> and we'll reach our arms up through the center of our body, take a deep breath in, and exhale, fold forward. Keep your feet where they are and bend your knees a lot. Sink your hips down and back. And then let your sit bones widen. Inhale here, tuck your chin. As you exhale, roll. Let your arms be heavy, rolling up through the center of your body, coming into chair pose. So your chair can be anywhere along the squat spectrum, as long as your hip crease is open. So we want to find as much length through our spine as opposed to reaching forward. So we'll take a nice deep breath in here in our chair. As we exhale, hinge forward and reach behind you. Just pause here. Keep your chair legs the whole time. Then release your arms down so they're heavy and inhale. Exhale to roll back up to chair. We'll speed that up a little. Inhale. Exhale, hinge forward, reach back. Drop your arms, they're heavy. Inhale. Exhale, roll up, chair. Inhale at the top. Exhale, hinge forward, reach back. Arms are heavy, inhale. Last time, exhale, roll up to chair. And exhale down. Good, release your arms. Shake out your legs a little bit. Just releasing that work. Maybe shake out your head, taking a quick forward fold here. 
Good, soften your knees again, deep breath in, and exhale to roll all the way up to stand. We'll take our feet wide again on our mat, letting our toes point out in the same direction as our knees. So this is temple, we've done temple and we've done chair, we're going to combine them now for this next little sequence. So bring your hands together in front of your heart. Actually, let's take temple arms. We'll take a nice deep breath in here. As you exhale, bring your left foot to meet your right and sink down into a chair, hands together. Inhale back to temple and exhale to chair on the other side. Start to move with your breath, inhaling center, exhaling to temple, to chair, sorry, exhale to chair. Inhale to temple, exhale to chair. Good, keep moving with your breath. Whenever you place your foot down, make sure you push it down, make sure it's fully grounded. There is no need to rush. You're probably already feeling <laughs> your legs a lot, and that's good. That's exactly what we want. Let's do one more on each side. Come back into temple, hands to thighs, and ninja lunge. Again, your ninja lunges can be up here with your hands on your thighs, or you can bring your hands to the mat. Good. Let's all pause in the center. With your knees a little bit soft, let your head drop down. Fold forward. And you can keep your hands just touching the mat, or you can interlace your hands behind your back, just pulling them away a little. Release your hands to your hips, bend your knees a lot, inhale. Exhale to roll back up into temple. You may have to adjust your feet again so they point back out. Let's stand up tall just for a moment. From here, our temple, we're going to start to move into some warriors, hands free. So we'll use our arms, but of course at any time if your arms need a rest, bring your hands together in front of your heart. Come back down into temple. With your hands just on your thighs, turn your right foot to the short edge of your mat. Keeping that knee bent, lift your left heel and send your foot back, straightening up this back leg. Firm up that thigh and press your foot into the mat. Keep your right knee bent over the ankle and then shift back just a little so your shoulders can stay over your hips. From the center of your body, let your arms unfurl. Reaching forward and back, looking out over your right hand. Good, straighten your right leg, reach both arms up, inhale, and exhale down. Inhale to lift, and exhale down. Three more with your breath. Good, last one here. Pause in warrior two and breathe. Hands to your thighs, straighten that right leg and turn it back towards the long edge of your mat so we can ninja lunge. Good, we'll bend our knees a lot, coming back into temple, hands on your thighs. From here, we'll turn our left foot to the short edge of our mat and lift our right foot up and send it back, firming up and straightening that back leg. Almost automatically, your shoulders will be over your hips. Bend that front knee a lot so it's right over your ankle and then extend your arms forward and back. Good. Relax your neck, relax your shoulders, relax your jaw and then straighten that front leg, reach both arms up, inhale and exhale down. Inhale to lift, and exhale down. 
Three more like that. Good, two. Last one here, and we'll come back down and pause in warrior two on the left. Look over your left hand, hands to thighs, straighten and turn. Let's so begin ninja lunge again. And at this point, if you would rather fold forward and pause instead of ninja lunge, go ahead. Always remember that this is your practice. So you get to do what's right for your body. Good, we'll all fold forward, soft knees, let your head be heavy. Maybe shake it out a little, shake out your shoulders. Good, soften your knees and inhale. As you exhale, roll up to temple. Hands to thighs and then straighten your legs, standing back up at the top of your mat and just shake that out a little bit. Beautiful. All right, so ground your feet back down at the top of your mat, shaking them out so that they can place naturally under your hips. Soften your right knee a little. And we'll lift our left foot and send it back as far as we can comfortably, coming into crescent lunge. The trick for crescent lunge is to not have your feet on a tightrope. We want our feet hip distance apart, width-wise on the mat. And then bend your back knee. So this left knee is bent. Front knee is over your front ankle. Reach your arms up. Good. Inhale, lift a little. Exhale, bend both knees a lot, fist to hips. Inhale to lift. Exhale down. Three more like that. Inhale. Of course, you can always drop that back knee all the way to the mat. And inhale here and exhale. Good, let's do one more. And we'll pause in our crescent lunge. Beautiful hands together in front of your heart and step to the top of your mat. Shake that out. Just let it go. Ground down now into your left leg. Soften that left knee a little. Use your low belly drawing in. Use your core drawing in to lift your right leg and send it back. Remembering to find um, hip distance apart. Forgot to mention this on the front foot. You can see my back foot is just on the toe mound and both feet point straight ahead to the top edge of my mat. Bend that back knee a lot. Draw everything in and up and extend your arms overhead. Good work. Inhale to lift. Exhale down. Inhale. And exhale. Let's do a few more here with our own breath. The more you can deepen your breath, the easier this will become. One more. Good, bring your hands together in front of your heart and step your feet to the top of your mat. Shake that out again. Great job. From here, let's step our feet back wide. Coming into that ninja lunge. Make sure your toes point in the same direction as your knees and then bend your knees, sink your hips low, arms out to the side. Actually release your hands to your thighs. We'll set up for another warrior on the right, so turn your right toes to the short edge of your mat. Lift your left heel, your left foot, and send it back, walking it back, and then firm up that left leg. When you look down at your right knee, make sure you can see your big toe. So your knee's not dropping in, it's pushing open just a little to help light up that inner thigh. Good. Extend your arms forward and back. Reach forward and rest your forearm onto your thigh, right forearm on right thigh. Bring your left hand to your hip. Then rotate that shoulder open. Pause. Good. From here we'll extend our arms straight up. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, reach forward and down. Let your arm be heavy at the bottom and then elbow leads up and open. Inhale, exhale. Good, couple more here. Inhale, lift, exhale. One more big breath in, open your arm up and exhale down. Bring your hand either back onto your hip or reaching up to the sky, lengthen up a little and then come on back up. 
hands to hips, little ninja lunge, letting that go. Remember the choice is yours, however you'd like to ninja lunge here. Beautiful. Come back into temple here, hands to your thighs, so we can set up our warrior again, our side angle lunge on this side. Turn your left foot to the short edge of your mat, lift your right foot, sending it back, firming up that back leg. Bend your left knee a lot. Extend your arms forward and back. Reach forward. Bring your forearm to your thigh, right hand to your hip. So this forearm is just a little kickstand. We're not dropping into it, we're finding length. We have to engage our core to do that. Reach your right arm up. Inhale here. As you exhale, circle it around. Good, let your arm be heavy at the bottom and then elbow leads open as you deep breath in. Exhale. Good, inhale, open. Exhale. One more here, inhale and exhale. Inhale back up, hands to your hip and come on up. We'll ninja lunge again to let that go. To let all that work release. Hopefully by now you're feeling a little warm. Maybe your legs are shaking a little. <laughs> I know mine are a bit. Good, well come on back up. Let's step back to the top of our mat. Good, from here, we'll stay at the top of our mat. I'm just going to turn so you can see what I'm doing, but you can stay at the top of your mat if you'd like. From here, we'll bring our big toes to touch, heels just slightly apart. If this is not comfortable for your legs or your knees, let your feet be a little bit apart together, um, toes and heels. From here, we'll fold forward, soft knees. Just shake that out a little bit here. Taking a little mini forward fold, let your head drop down, maybe pedal out your legs. Good, from here, soften your knees. Actually bend your knees a lot, sink your hips low. Inhale here with your arms heavy. As you exhale, roll up into chair. We've done this one already to this sequence, but bring your hands together in front of your heart. I'll turn to the side quick so you can see. We're sinking in our chair. I can see my toes and I'm finding all kinds of length through my torso. This crease here is open. Good. So staying here in your chair, we'll reach our arms up, take a deep breath in. As you exhale, bring your hands together and twist to your right, bringing your left elbow to tap your right knee. Inhale back up to center, exhale to twist. Keep your knees bent the whole time, inhaling center and exhaling to twist. Good, we'll do a few more like this. Keep that chair. I know it's tricky. This is when your breath really matters. Inhale, exhale to twist. Inhale, last one here to the left. Come back to center and fold forward. Shake that out. Here in our forward fold, we can take ragdoll, opposite hand tucks into opposite elbow crease, upper body softens. Or, if you'd like, you can take yogi grip, peace fingers, wrap around our big toes, palms face each other, soften your knees, and then gently pull your torso down. Good. Just pause and breathe. Let your head go. Shake it out a little. Good. Release your hands. Bend your knees. Inhale and exhale to roll all the way up to stand. Great job so far. Let's work on some balance. So we'll ground down into our right foot. To start, let's lift all of the toes on our right foot and see if we can spread them like our fingers. We probably won't be able to spread them as far. Maybe you can. <laughs> if you can, spread your toes, spread them as much as possible and then ground down the rest of your foot. Big toe mound, pinky toe mound in the center of your heel, really push down. Then let your toes gently come to the mat. 
Soften your right knee so that your thigh gets to do this work. And we'll lift our left foot, bringing it as a kickstand so the toes touch the floor. Onto your calf. Or if it's available to you, all the way onto your inner thigh. We just don't want our foot pushing on our knee, so above or below your knee. Hands together in front of your heart to start, but you can take any variation. You can interlace your hands and turn your palms to the sky. You can extend your arms out. You can even keep your hands on your hips. You get to be your own free tree here. And sometimes it's windy, whoops, in our forest. And that's okay. That's natural, so just come on back every time you, your foot slips. We'll take one more deep breath in here, and then gently release and shake out that right leg. We'll set up on the left. Lift all your toes on your left foot, spread them wide, and then let your rest of your foot push down and let your toes rest. Soften your knee so your thigh engages. And bring your right foot onto your leg, kickstand, inner calf or inner thigh, and then pause. Wherever you are, work to open the knee. Rather than having it in front of you, we want to see if we can open the hips a little. Hands together in front of your heart. From there, you can take any variation of your tree pose. If your balance is really strong on this side and you want to challenge, you could start to slowly bring your gaze up to the ceiling. See how that changes your balance. And if it's really windy in your forest today, just smile. <laughs> Keep coming back. It's okay. Part of life. Good. One more deep breath in and lift and release down again. Shake it out. Let it go. Nice work. Let's step back up to the top of our mat. Inhale and reach your arms overhead. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, soften your knees and fold forward. This is the only time we're going to bring our hands to the mat. So let's plant our hands come to a tabletop, and then all the way to a comfortable seat. From here, we'll extend our right foot straight out in front of us, so with the toes pointing up to the sky. Find some length in your spine and reach your arms overhead. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, fold forward, but keep a nice long spine at first. Let your hands rest as wherever they can on your leg. From here, you can reach towards your toes, if that's available. And then let your upper body start to soften down. Every inhale, lengthen. Every exhale, fold. Good. Sit all the way back up. Keep your legs as they are. Take your right hand to your left knee. And we'll use like a claw hand behind us. So just the tips of your fingers. We'll bring that left hand behind us on the, that claw. And then find length in your spine. Take a nice deep breath in. As you exhale, start to rotate from your shoulders, your chest, and your ribs backwards so that you're coming into a twist. You can even look over your left shoulder. Just make sure you're not using that right arm too much. If you let go with your right hand, you shouldn't bounce back. You should be able to maintain this twist um, without your hand. See if you can lengthen up a little more. Take one more deep breath in. And exhale, come on back to center. Let's switch sides. <clears throat> Left leg straight out in front. Toes flex towards your shins so they're pointing up to the sky. Inhale your arms overhead. And exhale flat back at first. Just reach as far as you can. Take a couple breaths in and out here. Good. And then when you're ready, you can start to round your back, folding more, maybe reaching your toes and maybe not. Every inhale, see if you can lengthen and every exhale, fold. Good. 
and sit all the way back up. We'll keep our legs as they are and take our left hand to our right knee, right fingertips behind us, find length in your spine, inhale. As you exhale, start to rotate your shoulders, your chest, and your rib cage back. You can look over your right shoulder if that feels good. Again, this left hand is just here as kind of a kickstand, not to torque with. Take one more deep breath in. Come on back to center. Great job. Let's place our feet on the floor, making sure there's enough room behind you to lie down. You can clasp behind your thighs or extend your arms forward. We'll take a full breath in. As you exhale, roll onto your back. Once you're down, hug your knees into your chest. You can hold above your knees or under your knees on the back of your thighs. Maybe rock a little side to side. Good. From here, place your feet on the floor so that they're right underneath your knees. Let your hands rest beside your body, palms facing down. Press your feet into the mat. Take a nice deep breath in. As you exhale, press so much that your hips lift off of the floor. So your hips might lift a few inches, your hips might lift a lot of inches, and that's okay. What we all want to do, no matter how high our hips are, is release our glutes and then send our tailbone towards our ankles to help lengthen the spine. If it feels good, you could walk your shoulders towards each other under your mat and maybe interlace your fingers. We'll just pause here in bridge pose. Feeling your legs one last time, kind of doing this work, firing up a little bit. Good, and then gently release down. Let's bring our feet together, knees open wide so that we can rest. Give our spine a moment to rest and resting butterfly. Great. Hug your knees back into your chest. Take our arms out to make a T on the floor or goal posts if you're close to a wall or someone else is doing this practice with you. Nice and slowly take both knees to the right and let them rest all the way on the mat. Let your feet rest. Let your knees completely rest. Close your eyes. If it feels good, you could look over your left shoulder. And keep your eyes closed, starting to let your body relax. Nice and gently come back to the center. Maybe hug your knees in again if you'd like. We'll open our arms out again to make it to your goal posts. And this time take both knees to the left. You can turn and look over your right shoulder if that feels good. Let your legs rest completely on the floor. Close your eyes. Notice if there's anywhere that you're really squeezing, you're really holding on tight to avoid releasing and relaxing. If you find any areas like that, really work to let them go, to relax. Come back to center one more time. Good. We'll set up for Shavasana here. So there's a couple options. The first one is to make a teepee with your legs. 
Take your feet to the outer wide, the long edges of your mat, and then let your knees drop in towards each other so they support each other. You don't have to hold them up, they just do the work. If this feels good, you can stay here. There's also the option to bring your feet together, knees open wide, like we did after bridge pose for resting butterfly. And the third option is traditional Shavasana, where we extend our legs all the way down our mat. Let the feet and the hips flop open. So you release the hips and the legs kind of drop open to the side. So you decide which position for your legs feels the best for your body. And then settle in and close your eyes. Let your breath relax. As thoughts and distractions arise, bring your attention just back to the gentle rise and fall of your chest. Slowly start to wiggle your fingers and toes. If you have your knees bent, extend your legs and reach your arms behind you and stretch your entire body. Take a nice deep breath in. Open your mouth and let it go. Let's do that again. Inhale. And let it go. Bend your knees and roll to your right side and pause there for a moment. Just allowing this practice to settle into your body, to settle into your bones, into your muscles, taking one last opportunity for stillness. When you're ready, press yourself to a comfortable seated position. Your eyes closed and your hands together in front of your heart. May your life be filled with happiness, peace, and love. Namaste. Thanks guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'd love to hear from you. Um, let me know how you liked it. And I would love suggestions. If you have any other ideas for videos, let me know, you can email me. There's my email on the bottom of the screen. Please subscribe and like this video and share it with all your friends. Um, have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye.